What's going on YouTube? This is Kaz and welcome to the Kingdom Perfumes Experience. So good to have you guys here on my channel again. If you're new here, welcome. If uh, this is your first time, you know, we talk about all things fragrance. I'm a man of faith, so every now and then I love to incorporate that. We talk about perfumery. I'm an indie perfumer in training and self-training and um, we just like to have a good time here. If you guys are returning, great to see you guys again on this wonderful, well at least where I am, rainy weekend. Um, so today is going to be round three of the White Floor Frenzy. So glad you guys are here. So um, let's get into the White Floor Frenzy. We got two awesome white florals, very popular. And uh, actually one of the noses behind one of these fragrances is legendary. So let's go ahead and roll them credits. Welcome back. So before I begin, I usually like to start off all of my videos with a quick and simple prayer. For those of you who would like to skip the prayer, no pressure at all, there'll be a link in the description below. For those of you starting with me, let's go ahead and dive in. Heavenly Father, I thank you for uh, my viewers. I thank you for this channel. I thank you for just this gift of perfumery and I thank you for a community and just allowing us to learn more and more about ourselves and about you each and every day. I just pray everyone stays safe. Um, folks overseas in Ukraine or Russia, I just pray folks that uh, are able to stay safe out of harm's way until everything can be resolved. In Jesus name. Amen. All right. White floor frenzy. Let's get into it. So we're gonna have two fragrances in this round and you guys have voted. I'm so glad you guys took the time to vote here on YouTube in the polls or on my Instagram channel and we'll talk about that later. So the first one I'll talk about is, we'll start with this one, Mark Jacobs Daisy. Now this is a 2007 release and it's actually quite famous. Um, Daisy won two um, Fifi awards. One was for, I'm checking my notes here, one was for Fifi uh, Fragrance of the Year for Women's Lux 08. And then it won the Fifi Best Packaging Women's Prestige um, Award as well. So that is really cool. The nose behind uh, Daisy is the legendary Alberto Marias. So, I mean, anything Alberto Marias makes is usually a banger. Um, so it's we're gonna see which one of these wins. Um, this is the first one. I know you guys can't see the other one right now, but um, yeah, Alberto Marias, pure gold here. Um, I really enjoy this fragrance. I like when my wife wears it a lot, and I do enjoy the profile. So I'm just gonna spray some more. We'll talk about some of the notes, and um, dude, we'll keep this nice and brief. We'll go to the bracket, do all that fun stuff. So let me go ahead and spray some on strip for y'all. So good. I, I think this fragrance is really underrated. All right, I'm gonna put the bottle out the way, but before I do that, um, here's the bottle in case I didn't give you guys a good of enough, a good enough look through, excuse me. Right, so this is a big bottle, 100 ml. I love the flower, you know, the flower top there. Very feminine, obviously, you know, no magnetic cap. It's very snug. And this is the bottle. This is the Eau de Toilette concentration, I believe. So I'll just set it aside. And right off the bat, it is very uplifting. There's a, a bit of a tartness, um, tart kind of slight citrus in the opening. So uh, the, the notes based on fragrance said there's gonna be some violet leaf, some uh, blood grapefruit, and some strawberry in the top. And then the white florals, okay, of course this is the white floral frenzy. All of that is in the heart here. So we're gonna have some gardenia and jasmine accompanied by some violet actually. So that is our white floral. Um, white floral heart and Fragrantica actually categorizes this as like an ozonic white floral and I do get a very fresh transparent what we would call an ozonic type of feel from this fragrance and it's just so well done it's just a pleasure it's a pleasure to the nose it really is um, and I think in the air this will even shine more than it is on strip in front of me here and then it's going to finish off with some white woods some vanilla and some musk so that's pretty much the notes in a nutshell, based on Fragrantica. 
And now we're gonna move on to the next fragrance that we're gonna be talking about. This is also another legend, probably not a stranger to many of you. Chloe, Eau de Parfum. There are so many flankers of Chloe, and by the way, there are a lot of flankers for Daisy as well. But in Chloe's case, there's quite a few. I think we have maybe, uh, I think two of the flankers from Chloe. This is the Eau de Parfum. We have Roses de Chloe, and we also have Chloe Love Story, which is a personal favorite of mine. I may or may not put that in this bracket lineup, maybe as a bonus at the end or something like that. But this is Chloe. We're gonna go ahead and spray it. And while I get this ready, this is a 2008 release, folks. And you know, it's a very simple bottle, but I'll show you some of the detail there. I really love the, you know, the etched, etched glass little bow, right? No magnetic cap, but a really broad atomizer and it does spray really well. So I do appreciate the atomizer here in close. So it's a 2008 release. It has two noses. Um, I need to just read them, read them off here so I don't mispronounce. <clears throat> Amandine Clerc Marie. So Amandine Clerc Marie. And then Michelle Almarac or Almiric. I'm not sure how to properly pronounce that, but in the top, spray this off for you guys. All right, we got it out strip now. In the top, let's set this down. What's listed is some peony, some lychee, and some freesia. Now, freesia can seem to be like a white floral, but there are many different types of freesia. Um, I believe all types of freesia are not white per se, um, but it does give you a really pretty, a really uplifting effect. Um, so that's a top note. And then based on Fragranceco, the heart is gonna be some rose. And then this is where the white florals shine again. There's a pattern here where the white florals are kind of packaged in the heart. Some lily of the valley or the French name Muguet or Muguet um, or Muguet. Uh, if you guys know the perfect pronunciation, that's a French word, please let me know. Um, it's a magnolia, right? So rose, uh, magnolia, lily of the valley, really, really nice composition there. And it just, it makes the fragrance so so heavenly. Now, Chloe is a white floral that goes into a different direction. Daisy is very sparkling, it's very dazzling based on some of the marketing and some of the goals that they wanted to accomplish with Daisy. It's very fresh, ozonic, you know, it's going in a different white floral direction, whereas Chloe is a little deeper, a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit, uh, just a little bit more captivating. It's a, it's a little bit more powerful, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a deeper type of white floral, still fresh, but in a more fresh in more depth, whereas Daisy is fresh and white floral with a little bit of uplift, okay? So one is uplift, Chloe is a little bit more depth, a little bit more coziness, right? In the base, you're gonna have some Virginia cedar and some amber based on Frank Grantica. And that's what we have here, folks. Chloe and Mark Jacobs Daisy. So no need to prolong this anymore. I'm sure you guys are excited. Let's go ahead and check out the bracket to see what what people voted for. Welcome to the bracket, folks. So let's get these votes in. Again, we're doing Chloe by Chloe and Mark Jacobs Daisy. So I'm going to go ahead and click in our bracket. And by the way, Nishane 100 Salaways is waiting, folks. Bottom right, it is waiting for a worthy contestant. So as we always do, let me get a quick drum roll. And the winner for round three of the White Floral Frenzy is none other than Chloe by Chloe with a landslide of seven votes to a mere three votes from Mark Jacobs Daisy. Now, I will say, guys, both of these, like, as a guy, I still really enjoy both of these. I don't think I'm at the point where I would probably wear them on my own um, or wear them by themselves without mixing it with something else or layering. But I will say that they have an appeal that I do enjoy. It's Alberto Marias. But, hey, Chloe just has a special thing about it. And, you know, fair and square, you guys voted. So we're going to go ahead and submit the scores. We're 33% of the way through our bracket, so about a third of the way through. And it looks like next round, Chloe's probably gonna be beaten up against uh, Nishane, or is it the other way around? We don't know. Well, anyway, thanks again, guys. Let's get back to this video. 
All right, welcome back. So I'm pretty sure that was really exciting. You've seen it. You've seen it. Chloe, by Chloe, wins by a landslide victory, a seven points to three points for Mark Jacobs Daisy. I mean, landslide victory. I'm gonna show you guys the bottle again. It was an amazing match in my opinion. I thought both of these fragrances would really be close together. Um, we have Alberto Marias versus the, you know, creativity, the genius, the talent of Amandine Clerc Marie and Mr. Michel Almarac and Alberto Marias. But folks, folks voted for the all time Chloe, a favorite in the community, a, uh, just a jewel, a gem among many. Uh, Daisy is no slouch either, but you guys voted seven to three. So Chloe will be moving on. Please stay tuned for votes that are gonna come up. I will do voting in two ways so you guys can see um, what's gonna be the next uh, best floral in the next round to see what, uh, to see if Chloe continues to make it through the round. Now, if you guys recall, Nishane, 100 Silent Ways, is still hanging out, waiting for its contestant. Is Chloe gonna make it all the way to match up against Nishane? We'll see. Vote here in YouTube. You'll see polls come up. If you follow me, you're subscribed. By the way, please like, comment, and subscribe on this video if you really do enjoy it. But if you're subscribed, you'll get a notification that um, a new poll is up. Please feel free to vote there since you're already here on YouTube. You'll see that starting next week, right a little bit, uh, a little bit after the video airs. Gives people some time to watch it. The second way is Instagram. Go ahead and follow me at the kingdom perfumes and uh, send me a follow request i'll be doing the poll in my stories there so you can just click on my stories and you can put your your vote in there and then we'll be good to go put the bottle on my way now well that's all folks that is the third round of the white floor frenzy it's so good to see you guys thank you for your support uh thank you for the likes the comments the subscriptions it's meant a lot this far it gives me steam to keep the channel going and to really just add value and continue to build this platform until you guys can actually enjoy some of my very own fragrances made by my hands so with that said thanks guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend uh rest of your week by the time you're uh watching this it'll probably be monday have a wonderful productive joyful peaceful week and i'll see you guys next time peace don't forget to subscribe. See y'all.